today I have the pleasure of speaking with Tom Drivis from Romeo Gold. How are you today, Tom? Great, Tracy. Well, I just want to start by congratulating. Romeo has now been approved for trading on the OTCQB market. Um, is it just me? Or are you the most exceptional, surprise, undervalued stock in the entire market? Uh, Tracy, uh, we think uh, Romeo's is, uh, my personal opinion is Romeo's is way uh, undervalued. Um, but, uh, you know, this is the market. Um, and, uh, you know, we think uh, there's lots of upside for investors. Well, I couldn't agree with you more. Just in reviewing some of the articles that we've written, of course, your news release says that you just closed the sale of 80% interest in five claim blocks in the Thunder Bay Silver District. Would you mind telling us a little bit more about this deal? Uh, Tracy, the uh, Romeo Sos, uh, last year staked the property uh, about 87 claims around the Thunder Bay area. Thunder Bay, uh, there was exclusive, there's a lot of high grade uh, silver uh, uh, past producers in, in the high, in the um, uh, Thunder Bay area. And um, uh, because Romeo's has a number of other properties in major uh, uh, mining jurisdictions, we decided to uh, uh, do a deal with uh, Honey Budger, another company where they, we sold 80% of the, of the claims uh, for a uh, a million one hundred uh, shares, about one hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars, and this um, they they have to uh, they take us to the pre-feasibility, and then we got a twenty uh, percent interest on the claim. So they're going to spend all the money to pre-feasibility, and then Romulus has uh, 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 the right to participate uh, to the uh, tune of twenty percent. So for those of you out there that may not be familiar with Romeo Gold, and, and, and honestly, this is a great company to look at because you've kind of been ahead of the curve and that you've been doing a lot of M&A work and accumulating projects here for some time. Would you like to give us a bit of an overview on how your M&A strategy has actually worked? Because I see copper, gold, silver. Uh, Tracy, as you know, I'm all, I've got a real estate background. So for the last 26 years, I've been accumulating uh, uh, properties uh, in very good locations for Romeo's. So we do have uh, uh, quite a few properties in the Golden Triangle in, in uh, Northwestern uh, BC. Uh, we got properties uh, uh, next to the Musselwhite Mine in Northwestern Ontario. We got properties in Nevada within a, a, a couple of uh, mines uh, uh, in the Synergy of a couple of uh, producers there. Uh, and um, so we have been accumulating uh, good real estate over the years. And, um, you know, we, we feel we're almost in, in, the, in a very good position right now that the market has turned. Okay. For those of you out there, for instance, again, who are new to Romeo's Gold, and I'm looking at your five, you know, major mining districts that you're currently located in, just for the sake of ongoing discussions with investor intel. What would be your favorite? I know I'm putting you on the spot today at this very moment, other than I'm guessing the one you, the uh, project you just sold. Tracy, I, I asked the same question to our VP of exploration, uh, John Dixon, you know, which is our favorite property. And he says, you know what? Um, we've got two, three properties like Golden Triangle, Trek property is a favorite one. We, it's a, it's a drill ready. We drilled 32 holes. We've got uh, we know we have a porphyry copper gold deposit there. Uh, the Northwestern Ontario property next to us, the landmark cacao lead property. We, we, a couple of years ago, we drilled there and, and we, we actually discovered the, the, the most, the high, most high grade of, of discovery, you know, gold and copper uh, since the Musselwhite mine, which is, was 20, 30 years ago on the whole belt. So we, we, have plans to go back and drill. We did some exploration this uh, a couple of months ago in, in the area, and now we're working on the uh, on the track and the uh, the Golden Triangle properties. We finished some exploration in Nevada. We're expecting results from all of those, and and uh, uh, you know to to answer your question, the, the next our favorite would be the the one that we're going to drill those two, the track and the and the uh, landmark cow and Nevada, and then we'll see which one brings us the best results, and that's our favorite. 
Okay, so when should we call you next to get those results? Uh, we, we're just basically uh, from Nevada, the, the uh, samples are in the labs, so we're just waiting for that. Uh, and uh, the North and Western Ontario property samples again are in the labs. And, and uh, we're currently working in, in the, on the track and the other properties in, in the Golden Triangle. So we think, uh, you know, within the next uh, few weeks, we should be getting some results. Okay, so I'm not gonna let you off that easily, Tom. We're gonna to schedule a follow-up interview with you and John, your, your geologist. And also we're gonna have Chris Thompson and Mario Durlet both do two separate interviews with you here in the next month. We really wanna stay on top of understanding where you're taking Romeo School. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Tracy, and uh, we'll be happy to uh, participate in this interview.